first time you've been so fired up on the football field when you had that interaction protecting Josh? Um, no. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't know. It's not. Let's not make it anything bigger than it was. You know, we talked afterwards. After, uh, actually, um, I have a lot of respect for the way he plays. Uh, he was a competitive guy. Um, you know, tempers flare in this game. You know, we had our moment, and then it was mitigated, and we were able to continue playing. And um, yeah, but no, I've never been. No. When you see your quarterback, for lack of a better phrase, in trouble like that, what's the thought process of a offensive lineman? Uh, I mean, in the moment, you you kind of lose consciousness for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's your guy, it's your quarterback, right? And that's, uh, you just want to be there for him. And, and uh, you know, it escalated like you saw, but I'm not going to make it too big of a thing. Like I said, we chatted afterwards and it was more than amicable. You know, it was just, I have admiration for the way he plays and, you know, um, the competitive nature he plays at. So uh, yeah, go from there. All right. Yo, yo, he cut you right off. That's right. <laughs> he had to get his question in. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Hey, what's your question, bro? We just tapped in, into our pro ability just to focus on what we can and control what we can. You know, um, in a playoff game, like, we expect it to be an up-and-down battle. We expect it to, to, like, to be, you know, elite on elite. So, you know, it's not supposed to be perfect. Like, games and like that should honestly be every playoff game. It should be as hard as it's supposed to be, un uncomfortable and uh, up and down battle. But, you know, like for us, like we just have to just focus on ourselves and clean up a, a bunch of like, li like little things that could turn into big things. But um, the good thing is that we understand what's ahead of us and we understand what we did wrong and what we did right. So we're going to take it, craft, craft it and make it better. Deion, I know it's hard to win in this league, especially in the playoffs. Do you think the feeling is excitement Relief, a little bit of both. I mean, it's, that was right to the end. Yeah. What do you, what do you sense the team's feeling? Like? I mean, honestly, man, it's a playoff win, you know, and uh, like not to make it bigger than anything, but it's a playoff win, and it's hard to win in the regular season, and it's, and it's extremely hard to win in the postseason. So, um, we're taking it as a beautiful play, playoff win. We're leaving the locker room today in this press conference with a W and not an L. Yeah. Shoot, it's a, it's a everybody play, play their best ball, you know, and Gabe is a gamer, you know, and he's a player and he's a baller. So, you know, hopefully many more to come. Mitch, with some ups and downs today with the offense, just overall, how would you describe how the offense was operating all day? Um, I mean, I think... We shot ourselves in the foot a few times, uh, put our defense in uh, less than advantageous positions, um, put their offense, you know, on, on our side of the ball. Uh, you know, I think there was moments where we were able to really m matriculate down the field, move the ball, um, you know, and then there was moments where we just shot ourselves in the foot. I, I think the biggest thing, like Dion said, is this next week, uh, yes, we did end up with a win. And in this league, that's hard, especially in the playoffs. But we know we need to uh, mitigate those mistakes as much as possible. I thought this team did a very good job of not pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. um, when when you know when the stakes are at its highest, it's easy to do that, and the emotions are so high. Uh, it, but that just shows resiliency of this team, and uh, you know the defense really helped us out a bunch, put some field goals up instead of some touchdowns when they were in the red zone. So um, kudos to them. But for us, it'll just be kind of being. Uh, real with ourselves individually, but also as a group and a unit, and see what we can do to play a better football game next week as the competition just increases. Do you feel any type of di difference with this team in how you're all able to band together when things aren't going your way? Well, I think um, a lot of guys, you know, we've you know we've we've got guys who played a lot of football. Um, we've got guys who've played quite a few playoff games now. Um, understanding that when the stakes are at its highest, that you know the emotions can be almost overwhelming at times. And I think guys, it's a great checks and balances. Certain guys like Dion can come to me and see where I'm at. Uh, hopefully, I can do the same thing to him. 
uh, and that's just kind of a microcosm of what's going on all around the sideline. So, um, you know, guys have each other's back. You guys played a lot of football, but we also understand that since we played some football that we really can't probably be doing what we did again today and expect to continue in the playoffs. Hey, um, um, you, guys, you got guys waiting, so I want to get this one in. How do you feel like the third day went? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I mean, shoot, bro. We we actually uh, knew exactly like what was coming, and we took that lemon drop or that Shirley Temple and, and chucked it out the window and said, man, we, we don't want no pieces. Go home. <laughs>